What the hell are you wearing? <laughs> hey, what are you wearing? What? I thought we were just going for a run. Oh yeah, but that headband. And those shoes, what are they? These? These are a 1980s classic. <laughs> Seriously. So what are you wearing? Mate, it's 2017. This is a proper running shoe. Well, running shoes have changed quite a bit over the years, both in terms of their looks and their technology. And whilst many of us opt for these newer top of the range shoes, some of us like to use these older and slightly cheaper shoes. But is there really much difference? Well, I think there's only one way to find out. Let's go for a run, put them through the paces and see who comes out on top. Head to head. Toe to toe. Ooh. Actually, to make it a proper experiment, I want to have a go in those as well. Well, I think I want to have a go in those too. Let's see. So here we are, test one, the hill climb. And we're mainly going to be going on a feel, but for fun, we're going to time it too. Let's go. Should we swap? Yeah. Oh, another test? Yeah. Okay, so that is the hill climb done. Mark, what did you think to Silver Shadows? I'll be honest, they were better than I thought they were going to be. Told you. Um, they're, they're definitely heavier. You can feel that extra couple hundred grams uh, and they feel a bit more rigid. So I couldn't quite go with one to I have toes. to say, I did notice that with the ons, just how much more flex there mm. was. So I was really up on my toes on the hill. And yeah, the weight, I was just flying up the hill. Well, on to the next challenge. Well, we've done uphill, so it's only fair we go downhill now. Let's do this. You're going down. Okay, so that is the descent done. What did you think of the Silver Shadows, Mark? Um, I was pretty pleased with them. Um, I know this is downhill challenge, uh, so the weight factor kind of goes out the window. It makes it a bit more of a level playing field. It was a little bit firmer. I did notice that you are absorbing a little bit more with the ons, so you're not getting that impact quite so much as you did in the Silver yeah, Shadows. Yeah, I think cushion is quite important these days, so I do prefer more cushion shoe. Um, and also, with the ons, um, you feel at one with the ground a little bit more. It's a bit deep, Mark. Well, yeah, I mean, shoes over the years have got more and more minimal, a bit more back to sort of barefoot running. Uh, I know those terms I hear mean. you, and I have to say, I'm starting to come round to these ons. Okay, well, on to the next challenge. All right, now for the sprint test, and for a bit of fun, let's do this one together. All right. On done. your marks. Ah, see what you did there. What are you doing? Go. Oh. <laughs> I think I might have nicked that. Oh. <sighs> I, th I thought okay then. I think that was just a tailwind. Oh, all, right. well, uh, all in all, a good challenge for this year, I think. Yeah, we were having to get up onto our toes there, and I have to say, the ons definitely more flexible. Yeah, I think in full flight, uh, I did feel like I was wearing a bit of a builder's boot. Yeah, these uh, are a bit more responsive, and they've just got a bit yeah. more get up and go. Yeah, I think the flexibility really shows. 
Absolutely. Um, okay, on to the next challenge. Okay, so these aren't off-road shoes, but a lot of your runs will take in a multitude of terrain. So we thought we would try it out on this trail here. Yeah, so we've got about a kilometre loop of good cross-country running with a lot of undulations, mud, hills. Uh, so we'll have to see who comes out on top on this one. Yeah, I'm back in my 1980s. And I've still got these uh, nice light on shoes on. Let's give it a go. So that's the off-road challenge done. What did you think? Well, I have to admit, I think I may have clogged up the tread on those on you did. the trial run. So I slipped out of the box. Yeah. It must be said, I think if you go for a heavy tread on a shoe, you can sometimes get too much mud uh, compacted into one place and it, it's a bit skinny. Yeah, and that said, neither of these are off-road shoes. So the Ons weren't superb, but they were definitely better than the 1980s high techs. Yeah, the, the Ons have got a built-in sort of sock lining, which keeps the foot quite snug so that's quite I did nice. notice that but Mark it is pretty cold out here I'm yeah. freezing in this vest so yeah. should we head back to the studio for a cup of tea and we'll go into a bit more detail let's do it go on here we are back in the studio and you still get your sweatband on man. oh yeah you Start, I'm starting to enjoy that yeah, yeah. Um, anyway what do you think of my shoes well I was skeptical at first they've done nothing for me in the looks department oh, but really well yeah Look at them. Uh, but they were actually okay, weren't they? Yeah, I mean, we've spent half a day in each pair, and I can understand why people buy these. These are cheap, and they do the job well, but I did start to notice a difference in weight between weight, the two. Weight, definitely. So I guess that calls for us to weigh them. Um, but first of all, what do you think the difference will be between them? I reckon there's at least half kilo. Between, really? Yeah, that much. I was gonna say three to 400, but let's give it a go. All right, let's go for the ons first. Here we go. What you got? Six, four, five for the pair. Now let's get these on. All right, can you manage, mate? 950 grams, so just shy <laughs> of a kilo yeah, for the pair. Go. So other features of the shoe, how about the flexibility? Well, this is obviously really apparent in this on shoe. I mean, you can fold it in half. Well, I know I, I love this shoe and everything, but we did notice it. This Stiffness. Yeah. Uh, I could barely bend it. Um, yeah. So yeah, we noticed that on the hill climb, especially. I guess that brings us back to the original question. Can you run in any running shoes? And the answer is yes and no. The older shoes have older technology in them, so they tend to be cheaper than the new shoes. But these were sold to us with a gel insert in case we planned on running in them. So I guess that says a lot about the shoe. It does. Um, if you're starting out in the sport, these are great, but as soon as you want to up the mileage, I think that's where these come in. The modern day running shoe, to be fair, is brimming with technology. I mean, companies spend so much time putting their resources into the new technologies, the cushioning, uh, the uppers, the style of them, the support post. There's so much to go at. Well, if you're planning on doing a big race, you've got big ambitions or a goal, you kind of probably want to invest in something with a slightly bigger price tag because you do get what you pay for. But I think it's important that you go out there and try as many shoes on as possible. You can go and get a gait analysis, make sure you're in the right shoe with the right amount of cushioning and support. That's really important. Um, and there's, you know, there's plenty to choose from. These are just two that we chose. Yeah, well that is our old versus new running shoe. I hope you liked the video. If you did, give it a thumbs up. And to see more great videos like this, just click on the globe to subscribe to GTN. Uh, to run 5K faster with Dan Lloyd, I love that video. Click here. And to see how to run further, just click down here.